right, all right, guys. Back. Manchester United. We're back with Man United. Another stream today. This one will be a little bit shorter, but I'll explain that. I'll explain that as we proper get going. As we proper get going, some of you guys start to come in. Just to let you know, it won't be the longest stream today. That's all good. There. There we are. But we're progressing well, aren't we? In the overall scheme, in the overall scheme for the whole season. So now it actually looks pretty official that Fortune, he could be, he, he could be a manager. And we'll see if we get a replacement, a replacement under 23's assistant. I will tell you under 23's assistant isn't that so crucial <laughs> to, to replace it. Not to stress over anyway. We'll eventually bring someone through, but all good. All good, guys. But yeah, that was a crazy win, wasn't it? Uh, a big, I suppose, roundup of the last, the last stream. Sandro Tonali, he won it for us late. He's going to be very good, isn't he? He is going to be a he's going to be an excellent player, I would say. He's already showing some nice some nice signs. A uh, good player, good player to bring in. Alright, uh, Tristan, Tristan D, <laughs> Tristan D, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, I'll call you Tristan, hopefully you'll be happy with that, <laughs> cheers, cheers, see you. nice to see ya, nice to see you in the chat, how, how you doing, how's everyone doing today, tonight, depending where you're from, let me know, uh, any interesting results here though? Liverpool lose against Frankfurt. Oh, Liverpool. Liverpool, are they going to have a bat? It's one match. Uh, Saputra, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Uh, Joey, hey, good evening. I I'm going pretty well. I'm going pretty well. How about you? Trip leg, hey, nice to see you. I love just start going live and then you guys come through the first few. Yeah, nice to see you. Nice to see you in here. Yeah, Liverpool just lost. Uh, Saab Sahu, I'm doing well, bro. Thank you very much. Hopefully I said your name correctly, or at least close. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing well. How about you? Yeah. Lavari, a, a Truman Show. <laughs> I, I like that name, The Truman Show, one of my favorite movies. I love that movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. But yes, Liverpool just lost their game against Frankfurt. Da Costa. I mean, if he scores against Liverpool, he might be all right. <laughs> Our, guys, see, playing football manager now is like reliving memories. Remember, he was a younger player, and he was a good... I remember him. Was it FM09? FM09, I think. When he was young, before he got into the first team. I remember him. He was a high-potential right-back, and I had him in a save. I actually signed him for United, a United save I did back then. Brought him in right-back. Does anyone else remember him? Is very good. <laughs> I suppose you have memories of a player from a save, even though now you see them in real life. Another one, <laughs> another one is the superstar. The other one is a superstar, John Fleck. Yeah, John Fleck. Now he's you know a Premier League player, but FM08, he was a beast. He was a beast. You could sign him for cheap uh, back in the day when he was at Rangers. Ah, oh, guys, like football manager, it, it comes with memories. It comes with memories, and then things that go on to happen in real life extend those memories, uh, kind of. So, yeah, that's good. Aspilicueta tells Mbappe to join him. 
All right. <laughs> this is going to be intriguing to see if if it happens. Mbappe, if he pl- makes it to the Premier League. I kind of want him to hold off for this year so we could sign him next year. I hope he doesn't join Chelsea in this year, like in January or something maybe. Hold off, lad, so we can get you next year, yeah? So we can get you next season. That's what we're hoping for, yeah? (laughs) That's what we hope for. But yeah, guys, it did say just when I started streaming, but more of you here. This is not going to be the longest stream. I might stream for well, maybe just under two hours because I'm, I'm going for lunch today. And, you know, from me, from Australia, uh, it's, it's, it's morning right now. A lot different to a lot of you guys or different to a lot of you guys. Uh, so, yeah, just so you know, it might be maybe an hour and a half stream, something like that. Because then, yeah, I'll go have a shower, then get ready and leave. So, yeah, <laughs> so you guys know. The situation, Martial dedicates his award to me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Martial. <laughs> Lovely. And then Bruno Fernandes, goal of the month. <laughs> He's he, he was really good. That goal, it was... Where are we? We'll, we'll click on this one. Yeah, the one against Norwich. I was like, I don't want... I don't care about the other goals of the players from the other teams. Let's see. Let's see what he did. Relive the moments. Here we are. I actually like this, how it looks like this with the camera. Like how it's not exactly full screen. <laughs> it makes me want to watch the actual matches like this and how it has that background uh, of the club, like the FM screen. I don't know. Maybe just because it was different. So, yeah, guys, in my save, Emery not sacked at Arsenal and he's doing pretty well. What did I miss last episode? I th- I, honestly, I can't even remember. Like, what was the main things that happened in the last the last episode, the last stream, we just kept on winning games. I suppose better form than the Benfica and Arsenal games, but in the Champions League, it was a tough one. We were relied on some late changes and a Sandro Tonali late winner. Uh, while we're looking at replays, let's take a look at this. That, that won us three points in the Champions League. Don't forget, it's like... It, I still need a trigger in my mind. We weren't in Champions League this last season. Of course, I know it, but it feels like as United, you know, we're supposed to be in Champions League. But, you know, it's a feeling of getting him back in the Champions League. And then Tenali, that was the late winner. That was probably a yeah, massive moment of the last stream. Other things I might recall as we keep continuing. Ooh. Yeah, I always like to try and make sure we have a some form of training. So let's uh, match preparation for the training. What tactic are you playing with? We we are, or what tactic I'm going with? It is that four two three one wide, which we've stuck with from the start, and it's it's held up pretty strongly for us. We've had very good success so far, and a lot is down. I'll be honest, a lot is down to the tactical style because I've played a similar tactical style, as you would see, in other saves but just with a different formation and still gets it done. A big thing is the pressing intensity. Then you got the high line of engagement. With that, we play like high defensive line, offside trap, still tighter marking. And then with the counter press, we play with the counter press is a big thing. And uh, the passing directness switches up, like the tempo. That's something we switch up depending and maybe we'll change the attacking width, but I don't do that too regularly. But yep, I've used the actual, the tactical style before looking smart with the haircut and style bro thank you i appreciate it i appreciate it i've got a lot of positive comments both from when i do my streams and in real life as well a lot more clean you'd say (laughs) where's rashford you know rashford somewhere where is he yeah rashford's on the bench like right now we're rotating him and martial on the left wing to be honest and that's while neymar is injured so when they, like, honestly, that's why I was trying to fit, fit them in somehow. But it, it's hard to be starting them all. That is our situation. Uh, FM19 runs slow on my computer. Does that mean my computer is shit? In short, yes. <laughs> like, that's just the way it is, unfortunately, with, with FM. Like, it sounds bad to say that about your computer, uh, but like... In FM, like, these days, you need a pretty good computer to run the game. So, yeah. Uh, Mikey Duggan, appreciate the follow, mate. 
Cheers. Thank you very much. But yeah, I, I wanna cont- I don't want to be going into too much micromanagement in this stream. Let's say I want to get continue as much as we can and yeah, play some games. Uh, I don't want it to be a stream where we don't get through too many games because I said it will be shorter. So we're not gonna at least we're past like the transfers and stuff. So yeah, I'm not gonna be looking too much into signings <laughs> for for this stream. That's for sure. Uh, so yeah, Fortune he is gone. Quinton. He was under under 23's assistant. So as I said, not to... I mean, yeah, we can have that in mind. We can have that in mind, but I wouldn't say uh, under 23's assistant manager is that crucial. Uh, what's that, Lavari? I don't have the best computer, but I turned the graphics very low and it runs okay. See, that's the thing. You can turn the graphics lower and you d- add minimal leagues. Like, if it's running slow for you, how many leagues are you loading? that's the thing, like, I've got a pretty good computer, fair enough, and I've loaded quite a bit of leaks, so, you can't see the, ga- <laughs> the yeah, my computer performance is still, still high, it, it's, it's superb, so it's superb, and game speed is still five stars, so it's very fast, so, yeah, there's no, no trouble in terms of that, uh, what's up, hey, my save, Sancho is a prick to sign, so I'm going to get Havertz or Felix, who in your right winger? I think initially Felix. I want to look at them, how they're rated in the save. But I would say Felix with his dribbling. And if we see Havertz. I feel Havertz is better centrally. Just that's Even though Havertz has got pace. Hmm. I think Felix, he just strikes me as more of a winger than Havertz would be. Even though, yeah, <laughs> Felix can play multiple positions, naturally. Why are you playing Greenwood ahead of Rashford? Do we need Do we need to ask the question? Like, do I need to answer that question, guys? <laughs> last season. Last season. Like, Rashford was good last season as well. But... Last season, we weren't playing Rashford ahead of Greenwood. We're playing Rashford on the left wing. So, yeah, that's it. And out of all the games we've played Rashford in, he hasn't scored in the Premier League or the Carabao Cup, or he got an assist. But, I mean, two starts in the Premier League, three times off the bench, hasn't got a goal or assist. So, would you say he's not playing too well at the moment from the opportunities he's been given? Uh, the real T R L Y. Hey, nice to see you here again. How you doing? How you doing, mate? And as I just said, uh, this is not going to be the longest stream, but we will get through. We will get through a few games, hopefully today. Up in this one. Up in this. Where where are we situated? I mean, where are the games? Do we have? Ah, uh, it's going to be. <laughs> There's an international break between West Ham and Aston Villa. That's not going to be fun, guys. That's not going to be... Hopefully, we'll be able to get through that quick enough. Ooh, who's this guy? Decent... Pot- like, okay potential. Like, it's not completely irrelevant. Could train him up and maybe sell him for a little bit. Get something from him. Manchester City beat Arsenal. Whew. How about that? Any other games? God, we need we need teams to drop points on top of us. Well, look at look at the start. So we needed Arsenal to lose. <laughs> they were against Man City, so one of them were going to drop points. So as you can see, Charles, look at we're on the same points. Eighteen, then nineteen, then Liverpool. Why are Liverpool so good in FM? But don't forget, guys, they did the same last season. And then they had a period where they lost a couple games. Yeah, was it two league games in a row? I can't remember. Well, it wasn't even three. I can't. They dropped points a few games in a row, and then it just opened for us, basically. Uh, someone asked, how do you turn the graphics low in the chat? Not directly to me, but... If you go to the preferences... And it comes up right away. Graphics quality. You can put it on very low. Put it on very low, but play on 2D. You must play on 2D or the 3D looks ridiculous. 
if you play on that. So you could play low graphics quality and just play 2D and it could run alright. 2D is decent, really. I like 2D. I suppose it's the fact of the old school FM feeling. Uh, with that, uh, yeah, guys, Liverpool. Uh, now, Harry Wilson, how's he looking? He's looking like a very good player. Very solid winger. Very solid winger in FM. Oh, uh, guys, Sanchez. How about that? Alexis Sanchez. He's He's got five le Guys, why have we let him go? Guys, Sanchez has scored five goals in eight. He's on fire. Alexis Sanchez. Guys, have we made his mistake of letting him go? Or, guys, is... Could that trigger the optional fee we have him? They might want to sign him. Well, Alex, Alexis Sanchez. He's killing it. Take a look at the stats. Hey, Ben, what's going on? What face skin have you used? Do you mean face pack or the skin I'm using for the actual game <laughs> the face pack I'm using is the cutout faces cutout faces from sortedoutsi.net SI for sports interactive uh, but the skin I'm and then the skin I'm using this one it's oh you see how I was using TCS before uh, that's uh, a newer version but the, if you're talking about the face pack, if you're talking about the face pack, yeah, the cutout, the cutout faces, uh, inside HXD, hey, what's going on, I nice see you in the chat, so this is the first, guys, this is the first game of the stream today, first game of the stream, so let's progress right on into it, let's go into the team selection, uh, FM Experiment, Sal Neymar, well, I feel that's gonna be, I feel like that won't look like a good thing. I mean, if we have a good season, I don't know if we can sell him for the same amount we got him, 170 million. You gotta think, why did we sign him? You gotta think about why did we why did we sign him? <laughs> Cause the situation was the situation was we had over like two hundred million left. So like I felt we had to make that game changing signing. That really really good player he's injured right now a little injury so he'll be back but like two more weeks he'll have a bit of yeah hit a break then he'll come back uh what's that the website to download the faces sorted out I'll, I'll i'll link you the cut out face pack i don't i have it googled and it's the top search so yeah it's there we go you can download that there, and they're just their website in general. You can get a lot from. Please give this out this save file. Well, see, the save file is always continuing. I don't know at what point <laughs> people would want to have it, but yet, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if it's really requested by a lot of people, it makes me think, yeah, <laughs> a lot of you guys would want. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Because I want you to see how I make the save go. Is Smalling in the first? Yeah, that's Big Mike. That's Big Mike there. He's in the first. He's actually doing well. He is like, you know, he's performing really solidly. Look at those games in the row. Last one against Dortmund, 6.8. But look at all that batch, those batch of games. He had over a 7 average rating in those. He, he actually... Like, he's really impressive. And if we go off last season, against Roma, well, not against Roma, for Roma, he had an average rating of 7.08 in the league. So he, he did all right. I know there's talk about Smalling in that, but think about it. He, he For this save, he's doing all right. He's the cornerstone of the team. But anyway, let's go on into it. And actually, Sergio at left back, he's been very impressive. He's another one. If we, again we go to his form, he scored two goals. Look at that! Look at that batch of form. We just rested him against Dortmund more than anything. Bring Luke Shaw in just to play him. Very dangerous on the attack. But I think we're balanced like this. I think we're balanced. So do we start Rash? See, Martial is killing it. That's why he's starting ahead of Rashford. And then as we well, Greenwood is ninety-two percent condition. 
But we got international break after this one. So we'll be we'll be alright. In terms of resting players, we don't need to worry about so much. Let's just go into the game. Guys, leave your predictions. Get your predictions in the chat. Get your predictions in the chat for this one. They're playing a fairly defensive lineup with that 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. Sounds like there's an echo in the room. I will say assertively. Do we? Nah. If we go passionate. Yeah, just show the pundits the right to back you up. That one generally gets some motivating reactions to it. So, guys, let's go in. Let's go into this one. Show our dominance from the start, hopefully. Let's see. Declan Rice. We were very close. We were very close to signing Declan Rice, weren't we? But if we did, uh, we wouldn't have been able to make another signing. And when we opted with Tenali instead, a lot cheaper. And you could say maybe the better player or potential to be the better player. Oh, good block. One Bissaka, neat. Very neat. Now McTominay. Pogba. Uh, transfer history, first season. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that after this game. Obviously, the big signings for us... Well, we signed Douglas Costa, then sold him second season. Or start of yet. Or in this preseason. He was... And we sold him for a little bit more than we signed him for. So, he was positive. He was very good for us in the Europa League. Jack Grealish, another player we brought in. Now we got a deal. Ah, kind of saw that coming, really. And Hilaire scores. Yeah, Rice, he's good. Like, it wasn't saying, like, he's a bad player. and like, He's really good. It's just about the price as well. Wilshere. All right, how about that? One Bissaka. He didn't do too well. Ah, should have made interception. Oh, Mike. Guys... As it's okay, it's it's one it's one piece of play there. Can we get the goal back though? Bruno Fernandez. What we bring him in for. Uh McTominay. Oh Mike, there he is. Pogba. Oh Greenwood. Greenwood, this is guys, hopefully it's answering the questions. He's answering answering the questions. If Anyone is, like, asking why are we playing him ahead of Rashford as a striker. He, he scores. He's so deadly, guys. <laughs> He's ridiculously good in FM20. He's going to become... Like, guys, I want to play this save long just so he becomes my best striker I've ever used in FM. That's how good he is. Like, I just need to use him for longer, and he's going to become that. He's going to become that. Seriously. That's all that's all that's needed to keep playing this save. And he's gonna become that. Oh, you gotta get back you gotta get stronger in the tackle, but there we go. Now it's Pogba. No. We got him under uh, like I feel we're covering pressure. Look at that pretty well. Gotta make the interception though. To be fair, West Ham they're they're trying to control possession and they're doing it all rightly. Here's Yarmolenko. I was going to say, how is he going to score that, man? <laughs> hmm. Interesting half. Interesting half it's been. I'm going to say I'm not happy with the performance. And I always say the fact, when I get a chance to say that and get a good reaction, it's a good opportunity. Uh, maybe go wing up. Uh, I mean, like, when you're when it's only a draw... feel like we're good. We will get it coming. I just feel we've got to go more direct. We'll go more direct, take out player defense, and we're good. Maybe try and switch it up with the... Maybe go fairly wide. Or, or wide and it focus play down left and right. Let's see what that does. Did... Yeah. Majority, majority positive reactions. Oh, here we go, Greenwood. 
Could he score a freak? Guys, that was ridiculously close. Uh, push-ups. Yo, what's going on? Don't... See, honestly, the Jejen press... I, honestly, I don't know mu much about that. And I'm like, am I even saying it right? Like, yeah, I don't know much about that. Seriously. Like, I'm using pressing. Like, what exactly is that tactics? What exactly is that set? Like, I've got pressing and counter press. What is that? What's what's the settings <laughs> you use for that? I've never looked into it that deep. I've seen it, like, said and stuff like that. I thought it was just some form of pressing. <laughs> Uh, can you try to figure out what tactics was Benfica using on you in the Super Cup? Well, see, I don't. You can you, you can know the formation, but you I don't you can't know their specific tactical style, which is more. It's gay, gay gen press. All right, <laughs> I'm like all right. <laughs> But anyway, we need... But yeah, more importantly, organ. <laughs> uh, but yeah. But back to Befica's tactic. It's more It's more than what their formation would have been. It uh, would have been more their mentality than their formation. Maybe a little bit their formation, how they'll set up to prevent us. Yeah, that will be part of it, no doubt. One Basaka looking very tired. Let's bring on Diogo Delo. Lad, come on, do something. And I mean, not like, come on, like, come on. Like, come on, like, come on the pitch. It sounds a little bit inappropriate, but anyway. Uh, Bruno Fernandes not having a good game. How often would we say that? Grealish. Can Grealish be the change we need? Or Rashford? Rashford on for Martial. So we're making a lot of changes. It's German. Okay. Okay. So, anyway, more importantly, my, my question to that was, what specific settings to set that up compared to what I have? What I'm doing? Oh, let's see. Anyway, let's see. I feel like we have to go very attacking, though. And then give a shout. Demand more. Uh, you missed the last stream, Nevsky. That's all right. How we do? We're actually doing pretty well, despite not having the lead against West Ham here. Uh, we beat Borussia Dortmund with a late winner. For Sandro Tonali, which was decent. Oh, Greenwood. Almost again. Rashford. Oh, Rashford, come on. Hmm. This is going to be very interesting to see how this one ends. We'll see how we do. Hmm, like, yeah, I don't, we, we don't want to settle for a draw against West Ham. I feel like we want to win. We, we need to win. Do we go two strikers? I did have it in mind, guys. Look, Greenwood, Rashford, then switch Grealish. That's why I like players that are versatile in multiple position, positions, especially attacking players. Uh, and Neymar's injured at the moment. So, that happened to him. Sergio's been impressive. Sergio's been impressive. Again, if we just go click on him. Yeah, look at that recent form. All over 7 rating in all of those games, and two of them he scored goals. <laughs> hey, maybe, mate. Get forward. Get forward and score. But, nah, it's not put him a striker. doesn't mean he's going to get a goal. Just Maybe McTominay. Uh, maybe support, so he's not as defensive. Maybe go as direct as we can. Maybe shoot on sight. Let's see what we've got. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like... Do you ever feel like a game you're just not going to see a goal? Or not going to see another goal? And it's it's destined to end the current score? Yeah, that's how that played out. Uh, when's the next Bath City? Honestly, I haven't played Bath City much in the last week or so. Uh, I, I've been really enjoying the streams. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'm really enjoying the streams at United. Uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't our day. That happens in FM. Unfortunately, you can't win them all. Unless you're fucking Liverpool. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. Liverpool, they don't know how to lose at the moment. Or just drop points. Crystal Palace will see 500k. What a game to do it. All right. Greenwood did all right. We can't fault him. 
Keeping, okay, make an offer. PSG, are you interested or what? Make a big offer. There's three teams interested. Do we offer him out, guys? Offer to clubs. Do we go 160 mil? We'll go 160 mil, see if anyone comes up. Guys, sometimes I forget how good Pogba is for us, and just the fact of negotiating a big fee is fun in Football Manager. Do you guys ever do it just for that reason? <laughs> You're like, ooh, look at the money we just got. And so you could probably sign two good players for the price of one, if that makes sense. Like, you sell one big first-team player, but you could bring in a couple. Interesting. You got no offers for Pogba. Okay, we offer him out. What What is the issue? They don't think signing would be a good, yeah it wouldn't be a good signing at the moment well they seem interested in him so yeah if you really want him make the offer just make any offer <laughs> if you do want him Tottenham drop point guys I'm telling you could there be another shock this season could Tottenham get relegated guys do you reckon it's possible do you think they could do could they do a Leicester? That would be massive. But I'm not going to get excited. Because Leicester... That, has anyone noticed in FM? Oh my god. Birmingham, some late frustration. Leicester, any players they sold, it wasn't for cheap. Like, it wasn't a situation they got relegated and all their best players left on a, a cheap fee. Like, we'll sort... We'll sort by this. Like, James Madison was still sold for 51 million. Ben Chilwell, 43 million. If teams wanted to still go for their players, they had to still spend a lot of money. Not many went on the cheap. Maybe the the cheaper guys, funnily enough, like someone like a Matty James, but no, nah, his value's low anyway. I'm, I'm just seeing who went for cheap. Slimani? No, nah, they're not even that highly valued anyway. Daniel Amati, hmm, maybe a reasonable fee. 18 million for a 16 million valued player. Gray, maybe. Is that a good signing for Norwich at 25 million? Hmm. He's decent quality for Norwich, I'd say. Brought him in, still a bit of money. But yeah, Man United winning league title would be Man United doing a Leicester. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's this save has changed it up completely. Leicester, they and with their team now they sold some, but there's Jamie Vardy is still there. They got a lot of they got a lot of quality. How, is guys, do you want to see who's managing the clubs? We'll go through it just for something interesting. So Liverpool, Klopp is still manager. Klopp is manager. Chelsea, Lampard is still manager there. Everton, Everton, uh, Bielsa, Marcelo Bielsa is manager, Man City, this is probably one of the biggest ones, Rafa Benitez, when, Pe when Pep got sacked, oh, who's this Malo Gusto, is he decent? 17 years old, get a scout report on him, <laughs> partially why I'm clicking on this as well, see some hot prospects, uh, yeah, so Man City, Arsenal, again, funnily enough, has started this save. Emery is still the manager, and he hasn't been sacked yet. Saka is a hot prospect. Okay, not a region. Wolves. Nuno. <laughs> Santo. Earl Grant. Are you Finnish? No, I'm Australian. I'm Australian. Earl Grant. He could be all right. Strength and jumping reach, very, very low. West Ham, <laughs> Pellegrini, Diallo, mm, nothing special, go back, Sheffield United, Chris Wilder, I'm just, yeah, I want, I want to see the hot prospects now, is he, what do you guys think of him, is he decent, he's 19, um, his potential, uh, Neymar, Neymar probably going to be, well, probably, sorry, 170 mil, 170 mil for Neymar, big money, big money, but that's what is expected, Steven Gerrard, guys, Steven Gerrard is the manager of Southampton, Steven, 
<laughs> what do you guys think about that? Uh, Carl Stow or Stowe? Stowe? Get a scout report on him. Is he touted to be anyone? No. We have a player. Oh, what's that? Where's that? What were you asking about? Where's that? Sorry if I missed the conversation or what we were saying. What were you asking about? Where's that? Uh, Southampton. So, yeah. Steven Gerrard. That's the situation. Graham Potter, obviously. Or oh, Matt Ryan, the Australian. Yeah. Uh, Phil Jones. Guys, Phil Jones is Brighton's key player after we sold him to them. How about that? Uh, Luke Matheson. Hmm. Fullback. Interesting to see what his report is like. Just going through all the teams now. Aston Villa. Uh, Dean Smith. Aaron Ramsey is the hot prospect. What a name. I thought you were finished, but you said, oh, where's Australia? Where, <laughs> where are we? I'm trying to think in, in comparison, if you don't know where Australia is, uh, <laughs> countries that are closer. I thought you sh people should know where, <laughs> where Australia is. Uh, Burnley. Uh, yeah, we're almost clicking on them just to see hot prospects now. Who's got Who's got the best? Who's got the best hot prospects? Wait till we click on ourselves. Uh, Rex Reeves, who we actually do have a scout report on already. He seems to be injury prone. Fairly susceptible to injuries. But again, that high potential looks like. Yeah, we're just going through these. Who's in the background? What's that background? <laughs> What's the background? Tottenham Hot... Uh, Troy Parrot. Okay, we know about him. Huddersfield. Robson Shipley. Allardyce. Oh, guys. That's... Wait. <laughs> I just realised. You mean the mirror in the background? You mean me? I'm in the background. <laughs> it's me. Anyway, okay. We're going to leave it. Let's get <laughs> Let's continue. We can be sit here all day. I did talk about how we we need to progress through an international break. What's the time? It's at 10 o'clock. When United played Rochdale in the cup, Luke Masson scored at Old Trafford and had to go to school the next day. What a story. What a story. And the teachers are like, just to the students, like, what did you do? What did you do yesterday? Uh, he's like, mate, I, I scored against United. What did you do? <laughs> oh. Would be a cool thing if he goes on to have a pretty good career. Like, like he's currently at school and... he like, our, like, if there's footballers that are seen as having a good career in the future, I wonder what teachers will think about them when teachers are going to realise they're going to be making so much more money than them. <laughs> I wonder how they approach those students. Uh, or mentally, anyway. They might not say it, but in their minds. Like, this kid's going to be end up earning more than me. A lot more than me. Uh, he, he had a GSCE exam as well. In, in what I, the version of that in Australia for me, at least, or from the state I live in, was VCE. VCE for Victoria. I'm that's the state I'm in in Australia, Victoria. But yeah, a VCE. <laughs> Ugh. All right. 
Her <laughs> now, guys, now he's no longer... This feels like FIFA. This feels how bad FIFA is. Harry Maguire is no longer worried about being replaced. We have barely been using him. If anything, I sure... Grealish is no, wrong, no longer worried about ring, being replaced. Alright. Honestly, those things don't make sense to me because I'm not using them as much. If it, Honestly, it feels like I am replacing Maguire. If anything, more than last season. Well, yeah, how about that? He signed for Wolves. That just backs up exactly what I said. Uh, yeah, he looks like he's set up to... Have a pretty good career, I reckon. Like, at least professional level. Why did you sign Grealish if you don't use him? Well, we signed him in the first season. We signed him in the first season. Keep in mind. We signed him first season. He played 33 league games. He started 33 league games. But now there's one extra player in, in... There's Bruno Fernandes. We brought in Bruno Fernandes. So that's why. <laughs> that's why. But we need backup. You need backup. It's a long season. What if we get injuries? <laughs> you don't know. You don't. You can't predict anything in FM. You're always, you, yeah, he's an important squad player, that's for sure. And he can play on... We just utilised him in the last game. Even though it didn't end the way we wanted, he can play natural on the left wing and attacking midfield. Even centre mid. Why are you playing Chris Small? No, it's not for a joke. It's not for a joke. He's been actually doing very well. Look at that form right there. I know people have a lot of opinions of players in real life, but if they're doing well in the save, I'm, that's what I'm judging him off. And he had a good season for Roma. So he's doing well in FM20, so I'm playing. <laughs> and Maguire... It's Mike. It's Mike. Neymar's doing all right. He picked up a little injury. He picked up a little injury. He's almost back. He's almost back, but he's done well. Uh, you missed a few streams. Why is Smalling called Mike? Do we need a do we need to remind you uh, with Van Hal? Mike, he called him Mike, Mike Smalling. <laughs> it would be confusing to a lot of people. Well, not okay to some. Uh, most Man United fans would know. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, guys. Who cares about Mbappe? We have Tovan. Mbappe, he's probably injured though. Bruce, I mean, it's only one to four days. Man like Mike, yeah? Man like Mike. That's the football version. You know how the, the, that, the basketball movie, Like Mike? That's, that's the football version. Man like Mike. <laughs> Starring Chris Smalling. Van Hal called him Michael Smalling, and I did say the same. I did say the same in the previous stream. Uh, Mila Jedinak from, like, Australia. I'm, you guys will know about him for his time in the Premier League. Uh, at the time in the World Cup, in the lead-up to the World Cup, our Prime Minister called him Mike. Mike Jedinak. So, I don't know with these yeah, older people, and they don't know how to get uh, players' names right. <laughs> I think Mike Smalling is a complete... It's not even close to his name. I'm not sure where he got Mike from. Was he supposed to... Was he? Did he have Michael Carrick in mind? That must have been it, yeah? 
He must have had Michael Carrick in mind. He just got confused. So, it, less. I would say that was less poor. Alright. Zidane. His parents were really pushing for him to become a football player. <laughs> Any tip how to sell players if no one wants them, mate? That's always that's always a struggling thing in FM. Loan if you if you absolutely can't sell and try and loan them. Try and list them for a loan and then put a future fee. For example, guys, I tried to sell Phil Jones in the first season. We absolutely couldn't. No teams were making offers, and that was the just just the way it was. And we we had a loan loan to buy fee in it, and they signed him at the end of the season. So we added a future fee. We added an optional future future fee. My dad called Axel for the Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey, oh. Oh, wait. Oh, what's his name? At Everton. Yeah, wait. <laughs> I searched Everton and everything. I wanted to find Richarlison. Do you know what my dad calls Richarlison? He calls him Richard Carlson. <laughs> Richard Carlson. <laughs> oh, I swear my dad comes up with weird names as well. Martinez. I always like Martinez as a manager. Did anyone else like Roberto, Roberto Martinez? I liked him at Wigan. I liked him at Wigan. I don't know. He's. I thought he was a good manager. What do you guys think about him? Hmm. I think he's decent. <laughs> Imagine thinking of Chris Smalling and saying Mike. For Michael Carrick, it's like thinking of Ronaldo and saying Jesse Lingard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I think Lingard to League One soon. Hey, well, in this save, in this save, he's close. Guys, we sold him to Crystal Palace, and Crystal Palace got relegated. But the thing is, he's not one of their worst players. Oh, guys, he might end up in League One. Oh, Crystal Palace. <laughs> Even if he's doing well. Okay. It's... It's a long season in the championship. But that's how it's looking. What a difference, though, Crystal Palace compared to Leicester and Newcastle for the relegated teams. You've seen cats with more technique uh, with a football uh, than Lingard. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, Lingard's an interesting player, isn't he? Hmm. But do you... Is there part of you that feels a little bad for him? Like, my opinion is... He's in a situation where he's... He's playing for a club he's, his quality is just not, not good enough for. And fans, like... Especially online. In real life as well. Trash him completely. Like, he's in a situation where he is... He... Admittedly, he's not good enough for Man United. He's not good enough for Man United. I can understand if people don't feel bad because like, he's making a lot of money. But just like the situation for him. Like you don't see like, well, you might see, but messages he gets online are actually disgusting. Like I don't support that at all. Like sure, if he's not good enough for United, want to sell him. But it's crazy the messages he gets. Like if you just search Lingard on Twitter, it's crazy. Like, I think next time he goes to the toilet at the training ground, somebody should lock him. No, like, that kind of thing, to lock him there forever. That's, no, that's, I can't agree with that. That's on levels of abuse. Like, I don't know. Like, people get so obsessed. People get so obsessed with players they don't like at their club. It's football fans, like, so terrible. He, no, it's easy to make a judgment off his personality. It doesn't mean he thinks he's better than Pele, like you said. No, it's his personality. 
he's probably like a, 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 like what I see. He has a fun personality, and admittedly, I credit him to still having that because he, like I said, he gets crazy stuff. He should leave, and honestly, it, it's hard. I think if he thinks the best for his football career is probably best to leave United, but at the same time, he's making good money at United, maybe capitalizing on that. At the same time. Most people wouldn't leave a job. Would you leave a job you're making good money at for a, a lower paying job? Which will, That will be his situation. He'll be leaving and making less money at another club. So you got to think about it in all these different ways. People have just finally realised he's not a youngster anymore. It's, nah. it's just, I could... I don't know, like, f like, fans take it too much. Fans, fans take it too much online stuff. They say stuff they won't say to him in real life. If you go and say this stuff, say it to him in real life, um, do it. Say what you will, but so many people won't say it to him. In real life, well, one-on-one -on -one anyway. I don't mean at the ground, shouting from the stand right at the back. Your shit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like one on one it's it's understandable that you don't want him to be like yeah that's my opinion he's not good I don't want him playing for United as a United fan simple as that but it stops there for me I don't send him messages on Twitter telling him you know to die and his fan you read that you, you type a certain search in Twitter and there's stuff like that every single day along those lines. It's terrible. They will abuse a player online and ask for a picture in real life. Facts. Facts. You know it. You know it. So it'll be those kids. It'll be the kids as well, like the 12 to 13 year olds. They'll go with the trend of sending him like mean messages online, then show up at the ground with their dad and acting like they're the biggest fan. Yeah, I try and stay away from the majority of the internet stuff. Honestly, when I was maybe in my high school years as well, I would, I would say I trolled a bit on the internet and it came from boredom. It came from boredom from myself really with nothing else better to do the internet <laughs> yeah they can bring that out of you but guys uh, with Aston Villa we got Aston Villa up surely we, we beat them After not getting the win in the last one, we need to hear. You're not a fan of Lingard, but he's a cool guy. I hope that he'll pick up his game either at United or somewhere else. See, honestly, I think we can say even supporters of Ling... Uh, not supporters of Lingard, but there are not many people that would support his current quality. But, yeah, he's... I suppose, uh, just I feel like I, I get that just for people maybe empathy is the word empathy like for linger for his situation but then there'll be people oh he's making a lot of money and he should be doing better for united and that but yeah it's like i don't know i don't have that in me to have that negativity towards him to, to that level you know what i mean i can even some even some like online personalities go so extreme towards united players it's from passion. It's from passion, I guess. <laughs> it's from some form of passion. Uh, Neymar, wh how, what's his fitness level? 45 minutes of action. Do we put him on the bench or get him that in the reserves? 45 minutes. And he better not get injured. <laughs> See, I would rather play Sergio ahead of Luke Shaw at the moment. Koulibaly will drop out. Okay. Maguire. See, he needs game time, Maguire. He needs to get fit as well. 
Torvan. Let's bring Torvan back in for... Honestly, Everton, he hasn't made the biggest impact. Let's drop out Pereira, though. Have him on the bench. Grealish and Tenali, midfield, or, yeah, central midfielders. That could be brought on. So we've got Rashford, Everton on the benches. On the bench. <laughs> players on the bench. All right. Maybe Tillo on the bench. A bit of versatility. Center back or right back. Which makes me think have Luke Shaw on the bench for Delo. If it covers that. So, oh, Paul Pogba's not happy. Can we play without Pogba, guys? Can we try and start Grealish? We'll try and start Grealish there. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. What age is Tovan? Is he, yeah. He, what, he's 27 now? 27? Yeah, turns 28 in January. And he's actually done all right. He's done all right for us. So, yeah, let me know how you think we'll do. Oh, they're playing a 4-1-4-1. That might be... They might learn. That's the way to get a result against us. Like West Ham did. They got a point. Okay. I'm going to have to say... Expect to keep win this match. Win this match. And leave it at that. But, yeah, let's go. Uh, Fekir. I've seen Fekir around. He's pretty solid. Like, yeah, his rating is pretty good. His attributes. Oh, Torvan on cue. He scores. Yeah, he's actually... It wasn't until, I suppose, this save. Like, I always saw him as not, you know, that quality for maybe like a top four. Like a Man United signing. But, whew, he comes up and scores a goal. Indeed. And now Bruno Fernandes. Can you put one in? Oh, Mike. Mike Smalling. <laughs> Almost. Almost coming up with the goal. Mings. Begin. So, I feel like we should continue. and be. Where did you finish last year, first season? We, we won the league. We won the league and we had so much money to spend. <laughs> we had like over 200 million. And then we had some contract deals and other players we sold to get a little bit more. For example, we lowered Sanchez's contract. So we had a lot of money to spend. Oh, oh, could that be something big? No, no card. So maybe the free kick is what could be special. Yes, it is. It's Lindelof. It's Lindelof. Could this give him the confidence and will he take Mike's position? Because Koulibaly surely is better. Um, well, a player called Ryan Edwards, who made it to the Australia team. I think he was a... Re he didn't really get much of a look. Is he still in FM? Like, where is he at now? Ryan Edwards. Ryan Edwards? Is he at Burton? Yeah, Ryan. He bought two caps for Australia. How is he coming along? Yeah, I remember when he was at Reading. Yeah, when he was at Reading, like the youth team, he was seen as a potential player for the future. And yeah, then he had some time in Scotland in you know, in, in the Premiership. Yeah, he's still playing his trade in League One, so he could still be testing for a for a spot. But yeah. Hey, Graham Arnold, former former Australian coach. Where is Australia? Well, I say former and current. <laughs> Sanchez. Yeah, we. Oh, well, out on loan. Alexis Sanchez. Sheffield United, where he scored five goals, five goals in eight. Hopefully he... Yeah, hopefully we do sell him, though. But now Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, set up something. Please. <laughs> Not quite McTominay, Grealish. Here we go. We are in control of this one. For sure. Martial. Oh! How did he miss that ball? Mike does well. Oh, yeah, you used to go to those games. Oh, but here we go. Martial has to finish. Makes it 
Yeah, he was on the fringes of the team. Fair enough. Yeah. I'd like to see him back in the A-League, in Australia, in, in the A-League. I think if he's playing League One football at the moment, that's like a similar similar level to the A-League, I'd say. Overall quality. But yeah, I'd like to see him in Australia. <laughs> you went all the way to Scotland. Um, I, I believe he's from Scotland, mate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we have to play... We have to... Pr yeah, there we go. I haven't watched too much of Scottish football myself. I might like if there's a, I might watch a game here or there. I wouldn't say I would like watch it regularly. Obviously, guys, we have to pause. We have to talk about my favourite man. Can you guess who we're going to talk about? Can you guess who we're to going to talk about? Tom Rogic. Oh, he moved to Aston Villa. What are your guys' opinion on Tom Rogic? Especially if you're from Scotland, you would have, you would see him play. He's one of my favourite players. He is close. I'd watch his games. <laughs> yeah, lovely, lovely technical football. And he's playing for Aston Villa. He's in the Prem. Guys, he's in the Prem. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see Tom Rogic in the Premier League. I, I want to see him make a move to the Prem in real life. Man, he's... Amazing technical quality. Yeah, you gotta... <laughs> it's pretty awful. It's You gotta support the lads. That's how I feel about the A-League. <laughs> it's awful. But you gotta support the lads. <laughs> That's how I feel, mate. You go from... I go from watching an A-League match and then seeing... Then watching Premier League, the quality... Is, is it's it's instant you can see an instant change just in the passing and that uh your team agents have bottled the league tonight scottish football is a tough subject torvan torvan oh torvan that was messy like that was messy like is that saying a bit too much no guys look at this boy a ball out wide torvan look at this gets past one <laughs> <laughs> Does it all on himself. Does it all himself. He's actually showing like a really, really good signing. Gerard's bottled another league. <laughs> hey. Gerard in this save, I showed before, Stephen Gerard's the manager. Oh, could he do it? The manager of Southampton. Tova, he's looking real good. Now Mings. Guys, it's 4-0. Come on, win this ball. Tova, he's not the same. Oh, we're going to concede a goal. Maybe make changes here. Okay. Disappointing. I'm not sure who was at fault there. Mike Smalling trailing behind. <laughs> Oh, uh, good. Okay, there's a highlight here. We might as well see what happens. But good old Mike trailing behind, yeah. Could we get a goal back instantly? Let's put pressure on him, Konsa. Trezeguet, don't let him through. McGinn, ooh, decent strike. Yeah, we'll make a change now. Uh, who is that? Alexander Coco. I that name sounds familiar. What? He was injured most of his A League career. Yeah, I didn't see him play too much, <laughs> but the name sounds familiar. Bruno Fernandez. Yep, he did it. He did his job really, really well. Deserves a rest. Let's bring on Tenali. Let's bring on Tenali. Play with the three central mids now. Deep line playmaker. Defend. Well, do we really need to defend? We go support. <laughs> McTominay, he's already a defend duty. Tovan, excellent game, but let's rest him now for Everton. Everton is still in process of finding his feats, I'd say. And we'll change him for a winger. 
He's right-footed for the crosses. McTominay, who would come on for him? That's the only thing. We'll take off one Bissaka. We'll bring on Tilo. How's he looking now? His value, we're not really playing him, but his value steadily increasing. Don't forget, first season signed for 4.5 million. Do we some at some point make a profit off of him? Do we try and sell him, look for that profit? Or is he a good backup in the team? We'll see. More more as a centre-back, to be honest. Wait, Lindelof. I mean, he's doing well. <laughs> uh, he scored a goal, though. I just wonder his better role as a ball-playing defender, so... We won't change it for this game. Maybe we'll just do fullback defend for Tillo. He's more defensive player. You can get some profit for him. You could all, but then I feel like we're gonna spend that profit on to get another extra replacement. So, hmm. We should hold on here anyway. Ooh. They got Alenia? Is that permanent deal? That's a decent move, you reckon? Do Aston Villa have got a decent... They signed him for 3.8 million. How's his potential in FM, though? That's a good signing. <laughs> Having that technical quality, yeah. Decent. There's a game. They waste that. It's a good win. Good win there. So yeah, guys, ironically, when I searched for Tom Rogic, we are playing against the team he's at today, but he didn't he didn't start, disappointingly. Or didn't even come on. So we got the win though. Four one. Pretty strong performance. Well done, lads. Well done. Let's continue. Man United secure victory. Well done. Tova, he was very impressive. Very impressive. So, guys, we got some <laughs> games coming up. Galatasaray, then Liverpool. All right. Of course, want to make sure we keep winning in the Champions League. Let's work on our attacking movement. Only problem with Rogic is that I'm very rarely seen him finish a game. Uh, he gets subbed a lot. Oh, guys, Liverpool drop. Shout out Freeman. Kieran Freeman. Fullback. Saving. <laughs> who is saving who? Saving us? <laughs> like Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, I bet it was a penalty given via VAR. <laughs> of course. But Liverpool, okay, they finally draw a game. So now we're only three points from Liverpool. We beat them in our game. We beat them. That's it. That's going to be important. He scores too many goals in old firms. It's an issue. <laughs> hey, he's a quite... See, yeah. See, for me, like, and a few other people are from Australia, but I know myself, like, I'm always intrigued to how other people think about other Australian players, like playing in divisions they watch and all of that, or teams they support, or teams you, you hate. <laughs> yeah, just your general opinions on those players. Yeah, we're catching up Liverpool. Liverpool. <laughs> I have to pay Lukaku's claws. How, how's Lukaku coming along, guys? I reckon he's just doing solid, yeah? Well, he got 12 goals last season in the league. I wouldn't say he's absolutely killing it, though. How's Spurs? Yeah, Spurs are really struggling. Spurs are going through it at the moment. They're 17th, guys. They're going through it. Can Birmingham beat them? The match of the relegation dwellers. <laughs> nah, surely Tottenham, they can't lose against Birmingham. I'm so intrigued to see what happens here. <laughs> Can we cont Come on, Birmingham. We're like supporting this. Supporting. Oh, uh, yeah, guy. 
I'm saying their quality had to be good. Birmingham's not going to be good enough for the Premier League. So that suddenly boosts them to 11th. You get a little bit of sense of disappointment with that result. But yeah, Birmingham, they wouldn't have brought in enough quality. Like, who's their best player? Lewis Wing? Lewis Wing. Like, how did he not become a winger? Just from his coaches, they should have developed him to be a wing. <laughs> he, I reckon they tried. I reckon they tried. That's why he's got a little bit there, unconvincing. But he just wasn't. He wasn't quick enough. How about that? I reckon his coaches tried to play him on the wing, but then realized, okay, we can't. <laughs> we've got to give up. All right. Yeah, this guy's a good English lad, yeah? Has that uh, good potential and that typical English name. He could be really, really good. You get a scout on him. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, Chan Se Hung. Bring, hashtag bring Lukaku back. Mark Milligan, only footballer I know who shares my second name. Uh, he looks solid. Yeah, and no, I've always liked Milligan. A solid player. You're one of those players that always puts in a good shift. How's he, how's he looking here, Mark? Mark Milligan, a Melbourne City. <laughs> Melbourne City rivals for me, Melbourne Victory supporter. But yeah. He had a very good uh, very good career for the national team, for the Socceroos as well. Good player. Jude Bellingham, but he's young. Yeah, Jude Bellingham, we should keep an eye on him, yeah? We should keep an eye on him, Jude Bellingham. Oh, wait, we've signed him already, if you've missed. We've signed him. Uh, 11 million. Uh, but don't forget, add-ons. Add-ons. But still, yeah, we, we've signed... He's pace 16. Ooh, he could be really good. He's going to be really good to get into the first team when he's ready. Viduka or Cahill? Ooh, what a question. I love both so much for different reasons. Viduka was really... Oh, it's funny, I love Viduka at club level, funnily enough. <laughs> when I was too young to realise rivalries when he was at Leeds United... But Cahill, Cahill was superstar. More in my teenage teenage years, I love Tim Cahill and Harry Kuehl. <laughs> but Viduka, yeah, he was, I don't know, really good striker, Mark Viduka. But yeah, how about Harry, Harry Kuehl and Mark Viduka at Leeds? <laughs> the Australian partnership. Mm. Oh, I'd love to see Sancho at United. I'd love to see Sancho at United. Really. Do you know why? Because at the start of my FIFA 20 career mode with Man United, people said, oh, everyone signs Sancho. Unrealistic. It's going to happen in real life, everyone who said that. <laughs> Unrealistic. Or maybe people were saying that just because a lot of people would sign him. But either way, wouldn't be the first time that happens. <laughs> Zlatan Ibrahimovic was another one. That was a few years back, though. Yeah, Tim Cahill, the banger. That How wasn't that goal given, like, a goal of the tournament, right, in the World Cup? That was an amazing goal. <sighs> that was the worst we were did. Uh, in the World Cup apart from uh, before that when the Italy does remember the one against Italy when there was a dive and it was given as a penalty that was terrible Uh, Fabio Grosso. Does anyone remember that? Uh, Lucas Neal. Lucas Neal versus Fabio Grosso. It's painful to watch again. It's painful to watch again. He fell over him. He fell over him. 
Never forget that. Remember when Wesley Schneider was on was our target about five years, or for about five years, and never got him. Yeah, it felt like that was always something that was going to happen. Uh, what's that? I'm an Arsenal fan, but always had a soft spot for Viduka. Always used to do a job against us. <laughs> Top baller. Yeah, he was at another one. Like a lot of Australian players are like that. We like that kind of work ethic as well. Just keep working hard and never give up. And you you you'll see that way through a lot of our players. And currently, what do you guys reckon about Aaron Moy? Aaron Moy is a very good player. One of the best in the national team currently for us. Wait. L Real Madrid lose against Leipzig. Tyler Adams steps up. The American. The American. Shakhtar, guys, what I thought that could have been the group of death for, I mean, for Leipzig and uh, Shakhtar, Group E is going to be looking very interesting. Tyler Adams. It makes it look very interesting. That group is pretty close, pretty close at the moment. Guys, how about Group D? Atletico, Frankfurt, Liverpool, and Monaco. Monaco really struggling at the moment, but Liverpool, whew, they're still going to make sure they win. Oh, Jackson Irvine was a star for my team a few years ago. Yeah, well, I've liked him as a player as well. Uh, who's that? He's alright, 21 years old. I feel like at 21 he needs to be a little bit better though. Uh, no harm getting a scout. Yeah, you like a technical midfielder. Yeah, Aaron Moy. And he's still got a good work rate at the same time. Like I was just mentioning before. I'm not sure if any of you guys watch the A-League, but one of our like Australian strikers, Jamie McLaren, he's an amazing striker. Uh, there's rumours of him, like I think, getting a move to like Asia, but I'd love to see him in Europe. He's, he's a clinical goal scorer. If anyone's seen him, if you watch the A-League, yeah, great goal scorer, Jamie McLaren. He's one of my favourites to watch. Just not when he's playing against Melbourne Victory. <laughs> like, I can just appreciate uh, good talent. Oh, guys, Pete Watts. There's a lot. Like, so, guys, Chris Roberts is our highest potential youth player we got in in the intake. He, he looks amazing. But don't sleep on Pete. Don't sleep on Pete. Don't sleep on Pete. He can be very good. He can become a pretty good striker for us as well. Very good. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully uh, keeps developing, keep playing, <laughs> performing well. What, 12 goals? Pretty steady. What's that? What other soccer am I going to watch in the US at midnight? I, yeah, I'm not sure what, what, how much you get there. What, what's, gen, what are, what are, what's generally the games you'd watch? Maybe apart from Premier League. <laughs> So Galatasaray is up. Yep. Let's get ready for this one, guys. Oh, oh A-League, it does get... Yeah, I wondered about that. A-League does get televised. That's pretty good. I, I wonder how many people watch. Yeah, you, you know, it's it's probably... It's similar to the MLS in a way. It's similar. Not the same quality and not as big, but, you know, it's the same kind of... <laughs> Where it's not the biggest support in our, uh, uh, like the biggest, the biggest sport in our country. We've got, like in Australia, we probably, at minimum, two sports bigger than football in Australia, if not three. And obviously, you know, America, it's probably about fourth or fifth, <laughs> or even further below. I'm not sure what you reckon. Well, yeah, Ryan Edwards had the work rate, but no technique. Would always get stuck. 
and run box to box. Headless chicken, yeah, fair enough. Oh, it's on a stream service. Fair enough. Stream service, I get it. Yeah, well, see, I've got a stream service. Like, we've got one in Australia where it, tell it, where it has, like, all the sports. Like, it's got football and other sports as well. Uh, Newcastle Jets and Central Coast played at, what, 10.55 p.m. in the States. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of games on the aft in the afternoon for us. In the afternoon or the night matches would start about 7 p.m. But, yeah, a lot of, some of the matches on the afternoon. About 5 o'clock here. Generally, if there's, on the weekend, if they have two matches, there might be one 5 p.m. then 7 p.m. for us. But, how are we going in against Galatasaray? Do we make much of a change? Do we leave, or guys, do we bring Koulibaly back in and drop out Mike? Has Lindelof found a place? But ball, go back ball playing defender for him. Is that the partnership now? <laughs> My, oh, you feel bad for him. Average rating, 7.1 too. He hasn't been the worst in the team. Technically, a better average rating than Koulibaly. What would you say about that? What happened with Central Coast Mariners and Usain Bolt? Nothing, not much happened there. <laughs> I wasn't really that excited about seeing or or the excited for his future. I didn't expect him to last or much to happen there. You know what I mean? Brisbane Raw. Now, when... Did you pick up when they were they were playing that Barcelona style a few years ago with Ange Postacoglu as the manager? They played some amazing football, I can't really lie. They played very, very well. So let's bring Pogba back in, I reckon. I'm guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking our squad. <laughs> I'm really liking our squad. Neymar does need to get that match sharpness. It's really, really balanced. I forget Nathaniel Klein we have as a backup who we signed him on very cheap wages, sixteen K for free. For free, we signed him, so keep that in mind. Uh, we're gonna... It's tough, guys. What do we do with Rashford? Is Rashford deserve not to start? With Martial, Greenwood? Yeah, how do we really fit him in? Or is the question just we don't? It's the same with Luke Shaw. Look, average... Look, 7.52. He's up there. Almost the best in the team, young Sergio. At left back. Publicity stunt. Obviously, people are gonna say, Ooh, you saying boat. <laughs> Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. Um, you, you, they'll be like, ooh, how is he going to go as a footballer with his pace? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, crazy. Yeah, can yeah carry on uh, where we finished the last match. Sure. Now let's continue. Not much happening early here. Well, we've had more shots, but nothing too conclusive. All right, let's say demand more. I saw Scott McDonald playing. What's that? Or well, last season. He's actually in the A-League now. He's actually in the A-League now. He's another one playing in back in Australia. Are we going to score? Oh, no, it's going to be a free kick. Could see that coming. Yeah, he's back in Australia, Scott McDonald. He actually signed for the new team, Western United. And then he left. And he, he went to another A-League team. And how it works in Australia, club teams, like players in the, or teams in the same league, they can't make offers. Players have to be like, like a mutual agreement, like terminate their contract. They can only be signed if they're running out of contract. Or, or what's that? Is that, gonna be, that should be a free kick outside the box. Yeah, so say if I was Melbourne Victory, I can't make a transfer offer to Adelaide United, as an example. For a player, if they've got two years left on their contract, they can't make a transfer offer. They have to wait for players that's running out of their contract. Or obviously make transfer offers for players outside of Australia. So that's a free kick. And yeah, Robbie Fowler. Robbie Fowler. Coach of Brisbane. I, he was actually, I think, the recent... Was he manager of the month? 
I heard something. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I saw something about him on Instagram that A-League posted. Because he, of course, he did play, he did play in Australia for a bit as well. What's that? Does everyone in Australia love Tim Cahill? Or is that just what America, no, I mean, like all Australian, like football fans or soccer fans. <laughs> um, yeah, like when there's some people now that don't like him, there's some things he's like doing for money or I'll say doing for money, like with there's some people that don't like him now, but yeah. Or maybe just more decisions like that. But I don't know, man. People get crazy about that stuff like that. When footballers, you know... Not that he's doing anything bad. I think I think it was the moves with his career, like late in his career. But I don't know. <laughs> Most people, like your general... like That's people on the internet. When they see a post when, you know, something like that. Um, you're like, oh, he's money hungry or something. <laughs> when, if he's doing anything in the media, doing it for money. Oh, I was going to say, it's like, Robbie Fowler, like, on, like on the touchline, he always looks upset or angry. He never looks happy. Well, is that just a normal thing for him? He ne even if his team is winning, he's always got like a stressed look on his face as Mason Greenwood come. He always looks stressed. He never looks happy. <laughs> it's funny. Stress, good old stressed Robbie Fowler. He always, he always just looks. Yeah, he looks uh, under a bit of duress. But more than other managers. More than other managers. Uh, what's that? Uh, King Kenny Miller at Newcastle. Yeah, I thought he looked familiar. He's assistant coach. Because I saw him on the bench. Like, on the substitutes benches. But he, I was like, he looked familiar. Like, I saw him before. <laughs> I, I When I saw him, I'm like, who's that? I know that guy's... Uh, uh, he's a footballer, isn't he? I, I've seen him play before. So, yeah. Kenny Miller. Greenwood! He goes on. Is that going to count? No. No. Good old VAR. Yeah, he's a coach. Assistant. Assistant coach. To be specific. Couldn't really see that, but right. So time. Yeah. All right, time to make some changes. That's what the time is. Bruno Fernandez, bring on Jack, Jack Grealish, Pogba, come off. <laughs> uh, guys, is this is this where the start, the beginning of the end for Pogba at United? Is this where it comes down? Is he losing a bit of confidence? Martial, bring on Rashford here. Makes us make the subs. Right. Sergio having decent game. Well, Wamba Saka, definitely. Guys, we're only one nil ahead, so this is not for sure at the moment. Our lead. Gotta be... Oh, didn't I just say it's not for sure at the moment? I've just made these changes. And we... Oh, guys. We need to go attacking. Or extremely direct. Come on. Come on, guys. What are we playing at? Take a look at the replay. <laughs> Alexis McAllister... We're going to need... Who's going to be the winner for us? If we're going to have it, that is it. Who is it going to be? One Basaka. Oh, you've had a great game, mate. And you ruined it. What's the logic behind that? 
What is the logic? What is the logic? Okay, this time surely has to learn. Now get a cross in. We need it. Greenwood, you can't. <laughs> oh, guys. It's going to be another... Oh. Can we score? Rashford! Oh, guys, were we just not destined to get a win in this match? Surely these opportunities. Good enough to get a goal. Tonali. Oh, guys, looks like we've dropped points again. <laughs> we've bottled it. How did we do this? We had opportunities. Is it going to be too late? I feel like it will. Yep, as we lost possession. Yeah, there won't be a highlight. Or, could it be another late goal? Oh, ref, ref, what are you playing at? What are you playing at? Oh, that's annoying. Look at all the chances we had. Shots and possession. What's going on? What's going on? Wan-Bissaka was the player of the match. I was not expecting that. Uh, we should be winning. Ugh. Alright, guys. Disappointing. Disappointing. So, where are we at on the stream, guys? We're about, yeah, one and a half hours in. And at the start of the stream, that's how long I said I probably will stream. Because I've got a, I've got a lunch to attend to today. It's almost 11 p.m. So, or 11 a.m., sorry. <laughs> 11, I feel like when I'm saying the times, I say p.m. more than a.m. But anyway... Anyway, guys, uh, we are going to leave leave things there. We'll save it. But if you guys want to want to keep watching some FM, uh, I like to send some viewers over to another streamer. So we'll see you lives who's live at the moment. But we'll end the stream just for the, the video and the recording. So I hope you guys enjoy the stream.